Known as the Chair City and the Furniture Capital of New England due to its long history in furniture production, Gardner, Massachusetts also happens to be home to Mac Prototype. Formerly Apple Pattern, the 75,000 square foot facility has been part of the Mac family for some 17 years, specializing in rapid prototyping, tooling, and low volume plastics molding. Mac Prototype has a deep experience in a variety of markets, including electronics and medical, and is certified with international quality standards for medical device manufacturing. With capabilities in machining, stereo lithography, fused deposition modeling, polyurethane molding, and finishing operations, Mac Proto's wide range of services are designed to enhance customers' product development cycle. We recently caught up with Mac Prototype President Rick Perry as he pondered how to quote his most recent customer to learn more about this important part of the Mac team. Well, we're a low volume and new product development company. Our name Prototype doesn't really tell the whole story, but 95% of what we do is low volume manufacturing in different processes, from fused deposition modeling, 3D printing, or additive manufacturing, as they call it now, or subtractive manufacturing, CNC machining. We do cast polyurethane and RTV rubber molds, painting, finishing, and we're a low volume injection molder up to 230 ton. So we're the low volume, high mix group for Mac. We're not a design firm. We're not a service bureau where you send a CAD file and you get a quote and you get a part. What we are is we take the customer's design and we analyze it for manufacturability. Then through discussions with the customer, we have to talk to the engineers, what they're trying to accomplish, and try to put a plan together to, to get them there through one of the many processes we have. Besides taking the time to describe how the Proto team manufactures parts, Rick also took a moment to highlight a key but sometimes overlooked capability the actual development of the master patterns and molds used to make those products. So the process is we receive a CAD file from our customer. We determine how we're going to make a master pattern, either through CNC machining or fused deposition modeling. Once the master pattern is done, we take that and we make an RTV rubber mold by pouring rubber around the master pattern in a box. After that cures, we take the master pattern out and we can inject two component liquid polyurethane, the thermoset material, into the rubber mold and we produce it one part a day. And these molds are good for 20 to 25 parts. As if manufacturing great parts was not enough, the Mac Proto team has been hard at work making facility improvements and preparing to expand its capabilities with a new piece of capital equipment. So a few green initiatives this year, we have replaced all the fluorescent lights with LEDs and put in motion sensors for certain areas of the building that uh, don't need to have the lights on all day long. So besides being green, this has a very quick payback of less than one year. So it was well worth the investment in the new lighting. While it's not a new process for us, uh, as we do some laser marking now with uh, the CO2, we've recently got the okay to purchase a new uh, fiber laser marking machine, which is going to be able us to keep abreast with the UDI medical marking that is being required. So besides being more than 10 times faster than our existing machine, we're not going to have to go outside for any secondary services. And after 17 years, we've finally gotten rid of the green buildings out back that were imploding. The total project took 10 days from start to finish and we've had nothing but kudos from the city officials as well as the neighbors. The Mac Proto team takes its role seriously with not only an eye towards customer satisfaction but also safety, marking more than 6,500 days without a lost time accident. With its rapid prototyping tooling and low volume plastics molding, Mac Prototype truly complements Mac's vertically integrated service offering, which can take customers from design through prototyping to full manufacturing.